Okay, so we're here where the new borehole is going to be. Actually, it's in process right now. You can probably hear the noise in the background. The sun is hot. I'm putting on my hat. And we're going to go and take a look. This is a really exciting moment for the community because uh, until this happens today, uh, they've been getting their water from a um, uh, just an open ground source, which we will show you shortly. Hi guys, how you doing? Hey guys, look at this. They just struck water. Right now it's <laughs> very muddy. And that's because they've just gone through. But eventually it's gonna be pouring beautiful clear water for hundreds of people and several villages in this area. So there's an old jerry can. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of new ones used around this place in the next few days because this is the exciting moment when water has been discovered, a borehole has right in process of being sunk right now, and it is a moment of great excitement. Now, with me is Emmanuel, who is the owner of this property and the one who's given permission for this borehole to be uh, placed here. And then this is Samuel, who is the chairman of the committee who will be um, maintaining and uh, administering this borehole. But first of all, let me ask Emmanuel. Emmanuel, how long have you owned this property? He has owned it for right, right from 1985. From 1985. Mm. And Emmanuel, why did you decide to give permission uh, for a borehole to be sunk here? So he's saying that in the past, he used to represent his community to the district level. So he has given this land so that water can be constructed here, so that the community can even benefit from it because he used to stand for the community. That is why he has given his land. Oh, I think it's terrific. Uh, you know, congratulations. And I'm sure the whole community is welcoming you for this and thanking you for this. Now, Samuel, you're in charge of uh, overseeing this as the chairman of the committee. Where were people getting water before this uh, borehole? People are worried because this is, there is a well down there. So, so, very dirty. So the well is just Which over our shoulder used to, here. Used to drink. Very dirty water. Very dirty down there. Yeah, unsafe well, water. Now people decided that uh, uh, they heard about um, uh, Victor Alfred, how they are giving assistance of constructing water uh, boreholes. And uh, they apply, then Victor Alfred agreed with them and he's given this one, and they are very happy. I was going to say, they must be very happy today. Over a thousand people have been drinking this water, let alone using it for washing and cooking. It's just horrific. And now, there's going to be clean water, uh, thanks to Emmanuel's uh, uh, generosity and to Victory Outreach Ministries, to Crossroads and to CETA. Uh, the lives of over a thousand people is going to be radically altered. Uh, no more waterborne diseases, uh, no more dysentery or uh, diarrhea. Uh, it's just going to be a whole new day.